The Carnivore Diet – Beginner's Guide The carnivore diet consists of primarily meat and animal products, excluding all other types of foods. It may provide a healthier alternative to the standard American diet that many people follow, which includes high quantities of processed and unhealthy food such as sugar, grains and starches. The carnivore diet is touted to help with weight, mood and blood sugar regulation, among other heart-related issues. In this video, we'll discuss the basics of following a carnivore diet. What is a carnivore diet? A carnivore diet is a diet consisting of eating only meat, fish and eggs. The idea behind the diet is that by eating more fat and fewer carbohydrates, the body will naturally enter ketosis where it will start to burn fat as fuel instead of carbs. Some people who undertake this type of extreme low-carb, high-fat approach to their diets find that they lose weight without counting calories or following any other specific guidelines. This is not a mainstream or traditional form of nutrition advice, and it's not recommended for those with serious health conditions such as diabetes or those recovering from surgery. The foods you should eat are beef, poultry, pork, lamb, turkey, poultry organs, and fish like salmon and sardines. Dairy products such as butter and cheese are also allowed in small quantities. If possible, try to add lard to your diet for a more balanced meal. Some people who follow the carnivore diet focus on consuming proteins that are high in fats to achieve a certain energy level. The carnivore diet has some restrictions on what types of drinks are allowed. Drinking water and bone broth are encouraged, while certain types of beverages made from plants are not. The diet does not set out any specific guidelines for calorie intake, serving sizes, or how many meals to eat. Most people suggest eating only as much as you need to feel full. Foods to eat in a carnivore diet. The carnivore diet includes only meat and excludes any other type of food. When you are on a carnivore diet, you can eat the following foods. Low lactose dairy, such as cheese, heavy cream and butter. Seafood, such as mackerel, salmon, crab, tuna and sardines. Animal products like bone broth, egg, lard and bone marrow and meat like pork, beef, turkey, chicken, lamb, and organ meats. Some people choose to follow a ketogenic diet that allows them to eat foods like salt, pepper, and seasoning that are low in carbohydrates. Yogurt and milk and soft cheese are also often allowed on this diet, but many people don't do this because of the carbs they contain. Foods to avoid in a carnivore diet. You can eat meat and animal products, but all foods that don't come from animals are restricted in the carnivore diet. Foods to be avoided include Alcohol, beer, wine and liquor, sugar, maple syrup, brown sugar and table sugar, legumes and beans, drinks, coffee, soda, fruit juice, tea and soft drinks, all vegetables, nuts and seeds, grains, wheat, rice, quinoa, bread and pasta, all fruits, dairy products, yogurt, soft cheese and milk as they often have added sugar. Benefits of the carnivore diet. Many followers of the carnivore diet claim that it has various health benefits and can optimize the body's natural processes. Its proponents claim that it can improve weight loss, mental health, anxiety, type 2 diabetes, skin issues, faster healing, digestive problems, and inflammation. Many people opting for the carnivore diet often want to lose weight, at least temporarily. An article in the European Journal of Nutrition states that on a low-carb diet, reduced levels of glucose stimulate ketosis or fat burning. This may lead to weight loss. However, it may be that the carnivore diet works because it excludes unhealthy foods by default. The carnivore diet excludes carbs, meaning that people cannot enjoy sugary foods like cakes, pastries, fries, or cookies. A carnivore diet entails avoiding high calorie foods with little nutritional value. Cutting carbs out of your diet is likely to encourage weight loss and health gains, regardless of whether you follow an animal-based diet. A carnivore diet has been getting a lot of attention for its anti-inflammatory benefits which has attracted people with autoimmune conditions. The attention comes primarily from the recent press this diet is getting. The carnivore diet is a very restrictive diet that eliminates all sensitivities a person may have to food. It has grown in popularity and is also used as a weight loss diet, though far less discussed. It is important to note that this diet is new and there are currently no long-term health effects of an all-meat diet documented which means that it's impossible to say if it will have any effect on symptoms of autoimmune conditions. There are also no reliable studies suggesting that the all-meat diet has helped people with food sensitivities or allergies. Are there any risks associated with being on a carnivore diet? The risks of the carnivore diet depend on what you are trying to use it for. 
For weight loss, there isn't enough evidence to determine whether or not it is effective. If you want to address an autoimmune condition or an inflammatory condition, however, the carnivore diet would be beneficial. While there are some benefits to the carnivore diet, there are also a lot of downsides. There are multiple food groups for a reason. Each one provides us with different nutrients, so avoiding some of them leaves us missing out on experiences that would have made up for these nutrients. Restricting yourself to just one food group is a problem, regardless of the specific food. An all-meat diet could lead to you lacking certain nutrients that are abundantly available in plants such as vitamin E and vitamin C. Some anecdotal reports, although sparse and limited, suggest that constipation may not be an issue on a carnivore diet. However, you'd be missing out on fiber, which is essential for colonic health. Eating a large amount of meat may potentially also put unnecessary stress on the kidneys. You don't want to deprive yourself of your favorite foods. Research has shown that labeling some foods good and others bad can lead to unhealthy eating behaviors or more serious eating disorders. What's more, eating a lot of fruit and vegetables has been linked to increased happiness, life satisfaction, and well-being. Is the carnivore diet good for type 2 diabetes? Until recently, type 2 diabetes was thought to be irreversible. Recent studies have shown that it's possible for the disease to change its course and many people are now in the process of doing this. Doctors have now acknowledged that type 2 diabetes can be reversed by changing your diet and losing weight. The carnivore diet has been touted as a weight loss method since the 90s, but now there's evidence that it can be an effective weapon in fighting diabetes too. The answer is surprisingly simple and there's relatively little debating going on about its effectiveness. A carnivore diet is completely carbohydrate free and animal based. Since there is so little sugar in fat and protein, Protein that it cannot cause your blood sugar levels to become hypoglycemic, so your pancreas will naturally secrete less insulin, which results in better regulation of blood sugar for diabetic. Is the carnivore diet good for weight loss? Yes, because meats are low in calories and high in nutrients. Chicken breasts are a great example because they are rich in protein, which leads to satiety. Eating just one type of food also stops mindless consumption, so you'll eat fewer calories this way. You may also enter a state of ketosis if you're on the carnivore diet. In this state, the body is shifted to burning fat for fuel rather than carbohydrates. This doesn't always happen, though it may be a misconception that all you need to do is severely limit carbs to get into this state. Too much protein in your diet can lead to levels of sugar and insulin that are high in relation to your ketosis goals. Know what you're aiming for. If your goal is to eat zero carbs, just have meat. If you want to enter the ketosis state, focus on fatty types of meat and eggs that are also high in fat. Low carb sources of vegetarian protein like cheese and butter can also help maintain the ketosis state should you follow the carnivore diet. If you have food allergies, a carnivore diet can be a short-term elimination diet to discover if some foods may not agree with your system. The duration of exclusion varies. If symptoms improve, you can reintroduce food groups to find out which food group it was that caused your intolerance. It's important to consult a professional expert when it comes to elimination diets. There are lots of different kinds you can do, so it's crucial that you take your concerns and medical background into account when looking at the various kinds of diet. Making a list of foods that can cause reactions is an ongoing process. It's important to consider each individual because not everyone reacts the same way. We need to identify what you can eat then come up with a plan for your diet that works best for you. This is often accomplished by reducing restrictions rather than continuing with dietary limitations. This diet is not for people with digestion disorders, chronic diseases, or eating disorders. Be sure to speak with your doctor before taking on this program. It is not recommended to follow the carnivore diet if you have any form of kidney disease. In conclusion, you can try different ways of getting nutrition, but it's always best to be realistic about your health. And if your health is suffering, then it might be time to look for another solution. The carnivore diet may be good for some people if they can follow it, but it's often hard to maintain over the long term. Not eating entire food groups may cause nutritional deficiencies. People who are into high protein diets may want to consider switching to paleolithic and ketogenic ones instead. Proponents of paleo and ketogenic diets claim that these benefits are comparable to those of a purely carnivorous diet. These diets also don't prohibit any types of foods, giving people the flexibility they need. Additionally, there are some potential health risks associated with high carbohydrate loads, which may be avoided by following one of these diets.